Oh my word. Oh yes. Oh what in the cheese monster? Oh <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh picking it up, picking it up. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Let's uh, drop some of these real quick. Pick up all the stuff that I was just leaving. I'm literally just started the yes. what you call it and uh, that hit that's awesome i've been trying to get that for a while let me yes. uh pick up i was dropping random stuff man alive um yes if i can do this real quick in a second log let's yes. see how many it took <gasps> dust doubles 407 like one one tenth of the drop rate so that's yes. awesome. Yay. Okay. Yes. We take those, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Pretty cool. Um, so I caught a bunch of those gems, and I was killing dust devils. Let's see how many dust devils I was actually killed. 471. So not bad for a dust devil. That's pretty good. So let's go do day one's price check right now. We're going to run to my Fortress of Solitude, the Forming Guild. And um, this first time is going to be a little awkward, but in the future times, um, it should be pretty, a lot easier. I'll just grab everything out of the tab. So right now we're going to figure out what exactly we have in the tab to include in the price. Um, I'm looking at that big stack of 126,000 blood runes, which I'm going to have to sell so I can include blood runes as a nice, uh, easy money making to fall back on. But for now, um, until I sell the stack I have and make new blood runes to get that, I don't want to mix them up, so I can't include any of the blood runes I have in the total. So, you know, that's what it is. So for tomorrow's goal, I should have uh, blood runes, or at least cash from blood runes. But for right now, um, I don't want to uh, mix it up. So anyway, but yeah, so I'll sell a bunch of blood runes. I will get that money, I'll convert that into platinum, and then all old money will be platinum, and all the start of the challenge money forward will be just gold coins. And yeah, that should make things a lot easier. So let's get to this bank check, or tab 9, or the challenge tab thing. Okay, so hopefully this is a good price check and I don't have to like do blood runes the rest of the night early because I was planning on doing those tomorrow. Okay, here goes. Anytime now. <laughs> and um, the bolts I have separated, so you'll I'll, I'll put 777 in, should be. That's what I had in the bank from today, but the ones, you know. So those are, whoa, that's already 213K. Nice. Okay, almost. Yes, okay. The amethysts actually do come in pretty hard on that one. Nice. 1.8 million. That'll, that'll do. I didn't realize that the amethyst stuff was worth that much. Um, I just mined basically all day to get that. So, not bad for day one. I will take that. And uh, be super thankful for it if you know what I mean. This is good. So we will figure out. Okay, guess. Sorry, I did change it for. I I did I did change the the YouTube's for uh, Elijah. So we'll grab that from here. We'll include that in our price check, and we are good. Yay, day one. Day one total looking good. So another thing I noticed, um, my herb sack and gem bag 
Um, I didn't empty them before because I wasn't, you know, I had grimy herbs and uncuts from stuff previously. So what I did is I went through my whole bank and cleaned, at least cleaned the herbs and cut every gem I had down. So whatever is in these two bags is what I got from killing dust devils and um, mining from yesterday. So nothing super crazy, but... It, every little bit helps. Do you see that? The camo thing popped up first, but I got eight sapphires and three um, emeralds. Nothing super crazy, but hey, every little bit helps. And then I can use my gem bag and what you call it, show. Yay. Again, price check from day one. Hi, I'm Bob, and we're going to do this in take three because the third time's a charm. It's time to talk about, let's see if I can do this email right, the game plan. And let's go check the tab. So I've only done this uh, like three other times, so oh, I didn't put it in note form. Boom, 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 okay. So yeah, we are here. All this stuff came from drops and wealth or improvements that I've got since the challenge started. So here we go. We have we did we did most of the 3.6 mil, 3.62 whatever. I am not. It's it's like, let's see. So day one was 1.8. Day two is 3.6. The numbers don't match up. Okay. Oh, that's right because I put I exchanged the other. So it's like 3. Point, I'm gonna say 3.6 mil. Sue me. How about that? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, here's what where the total is for this. And let me zoom in on that. And we will talk the game plan. So, I did bloods. They're quicker, easy. I did some amethyst. And a lot of the stuff I'll actually wait till later to cut up because they're worth more as javelin bolt tips. I can high elk them for more. But, um, yeah, so a couple other things I want to do. I want to do some Giant's Foundry today, um, some Slayer, um, but, again, it's pretty slow until I get 75. Thieving, but I already have 99, so it doesn't progress the account. Fletching, slow, but it is, you know, one of my, um, you know, slower skills, but it, it, you know, it provides me with alchemy material. I have quite a bit of that, and then Dragonheim armor pretty fast. Blue and red are quite safe and easy to obtain. Black is not too bad to obtain, but a bit slower. But <clears throat> we will see. If you want to add to this, please let me know. These are some other goals that I have. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, again, a big thanks to Fidelis and Mimi. And uh, yeah, so now um, let's see. We'll throw this all back in the tab. The other thing I did was I took my... Uh, other money, the order money, and turned it into platinum tokens. Um, as you see, I have zero blood runes. So, what I'm going to do if I if I need fast cash, I will make blood runes. But I'll, I pr pretty much will only make like blood runes when I know that I have stuff coming up and I can't really be super active. So a lot of the stuff will get high elk now, and that's where I'm going to do agility. Um, you will notice that I have battle staffs in here. I did buy that with uh, the blood money, blood money, the blood rune money I got from yesterday. And um, so that's why they're here and I can count them. I am going to make them into um, fire battle staves, which means I need to go make orbs, go charge the orbs into fire orbs, and then they'll be away. So short version on that, they will probably be sitting here for a while, but it adds to the bank tab and uh, does count because it, because it is money that I have gotten from you know from the great reset and then after that and so here we uh here we are um again i can pull other stuff out of my bank to use it's not like uh it's not like hey this you're starting from like getting hack zero but it's like money that i make forward so um for instance let me grab my chisel here so what i what I was doing, or can do, 
is make these into bolt tips, right? But um, I decided to bank them because this this is two bolt tips, which is 7,770. And then if I take two in here, that comes out to slightly higher. See, it's at 8,000. So I'm losing like 300 odd GPA. I'm not really super worried about it. I will make bolt tips. I, you saw I had my broad bolts in there. But um, yeah, I'm over explaining this just, just, just so you understand my thinking. So anyways, so now you see I have bolt tips. It was just an, an extra slot I have in here. I will get feathers and make these into broad bolts. Um, I, you know, cut the gems, that kind of thing. But I, I went, these are, I had to cut a bunch of gems and put them here. And so it's a different space rather than clear out all that space and make something I could drag into this tab. That's the way I did it. Um, the super awesome addition, I probably showed this if I did my job right. So I got this dust battle stuff, which I can, I, I have added to the thing, but it's only 12K. But so super excited about that. And um, eventually I will make all these, um, these broad bolts I have in this tab into um, broad bolts with amethyst on them, but um, they actually come out, the value combined is less, so I'm gonna leave that for, you know, a different day. Um, it actually help if I actually make some, huh? So let me get 10 more out. But um, it doesn't mean I have to go buy new broad bolts. I probably will. Ooh, look, he's got the must a pet. Nice. So here, let me do a price check on this. So 10 broad bolts and 10 amethyst bolt tips come out to 3,160. And um, these total come out to 3,000. So a little bit, but it's still an upgrade. So I'm actually losing money by making them, but it's not much and I will do it for the experience, but you know, I'm not super worried about that just now. But I just wanted to let you know that that you will see a bunch more broad bolts that I will have made in the future, but that's where they're coming from. So, anyway, um, I want to make those orbs, and I'll probably be doing a lot of that, and I have some money that I got from blood runes. I will make blood runes later on. Probably after a reset, when Eli goes to bed, we'll make them from, I don't know, a half hour, hour or something, maybe. If he goes to bed and it's something that I can do AFK and I, if I log off, it's, I'm not anywhere dangerous, blah, blah, blah. A lot of the stuff will be high elk when I do some agility. The dragon daggers actually came from dust devils and they are different than the ones I have before from, where's my dragon daggers? Right here, these ones. Um, I used poison on the ones here. Um, they're the poison plus plus whatever so that's their I might elk them I don't know we'll figure out what I'll do with them later but I still have under 28 spots in the stab so I'm not worried about it I will condense it in the future so you'll see the spots go up and down no big deal um, the other thing I will say is these battle staffs are from the before time and they will get elked and put into platinum tokens which again I have switched it from the the challenge money being platinum into the other money being the the older money is now platinum and the new money going forward that i've made is this 730 k which a lot of a lot of that is going to be used for battle staffs I'm buying them every day then i'll put them in here but so um short version is i will need to make a bunch of uh orbs today from basically scratch i'll buy them from charter ships from back and forth and then i'll charge them probably a different day and that's how we're gonna do that but um the game plan is still in effect and again shout out to fidelis and Emi for writing all this up um i will do slayer is so slow and i want to get i want to get a good um like afk something there like with the stuff so but flare is the plan so day one total was needed to be 369k 
I did 1.86, ah, I always mess this up, 1,866,717 GP on the nose. A lot of that was from Amethyst, a little bit from doing a really lame Slayer task, and I got a few herbs out of that, but nothing crazy. Um, yeah, now day two is 738K, so yay. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.